I don't want to be a brat or anything, but my camera stopped recording. Yes, I'm doing it all again. Just for fun, you should let me know in the video if you can tell where the new one starts and the old one ends. And I'll let you know if you're right. <laughs> Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, hello, my name is Joanne and I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, today's video is going to be episode six of our Sticks Pick My Makeup. And yes, I did get a new teapot for my lipsticks. As of right now, I have 57 lipsticks and 98 eyeshadow palettes. I keep adding to my collection, I can't stop. So if you're excited to see what these sticks pick for me today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. Also, I actually have somewhere to be today. I am going out with a friend. I'm very excited. I like never leave this house ever except for to go to work. So I'm excited to actually have some place to go. We are going to go eat and we're gonna go to a bookstore, which is the key to my heart. Let's get into this. For my lipstick, L'Oreal Watermelon Plump, which is a beautiful like shiny red color red color. And for my eyeshadow, Leave Sultry Sunset, which I have never used before and uh, I'm a little nervous about. Okay, so actually these oddly go together very well. This is the L'Oreal Watermelon Plump. It is a plumping lip shine. I love this so much. It It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's great for summer and springtime. I'm excited about that. The one I'm not so excited about is the Believe Beauty Sultry Sunset Palette. Never used it before, never even dipped into it, but it looks like this. It's like a nice red, orange, coral moment, which, okay. So let's get to doing our makeup. I wish I had time to film a daily one of these, but I just don't. I don't do my makeup like this every single day. I wish I did, but I don't have the time for that. None of these are labeled or have names and they all look, let's do some swatches because these all look kind of shimmery to me. Wow, surprising. Okay, so even the ones that look shimmery, they, they could pass as mattes. They're not true mattes though. Okay, mmm. Let's get into this look. I'm going in with the skin shade color. That's actually nice. Hmm. Is anyone else surprised? Because I am damn surprised. <laughs> this is a nice daily color story. And it costs like $5 at Dollar General. If you didn't know where you get Believe Beauty, it's at Dollar General. I don't believe you can buy it online, but it is in stores. I'm pretty sure like every community on the planet has a Dollar General. I think if we ever made it to the moon, we would immediately put in a Dollar General. Okay, wow, I am, I'm surprised. That went on nicely, it's very, very beautiful. With the same exact brush, I'm going in with the Coral shade. powdery in the pan, but smooth on the lid. I am very impressed <laughs> by this crappy little palette. This is the only shade in this I have. They have a couple of others, like should I try them? I'm not sure. On the same brush, but I did clean it off. I am going in with the red shade on the outer portion of my eye only. I'm trying to deepen things up a little bit. I am getting a little bit of fallout from the red onto my cheek area, but I can clean that up afterwards. Hmm. You really just have to take your time. I think that the shades are really beautiful. They're nice and cohesive. They all go together, but if you're wanting that payoff, you're gonna have to take your time with the palette. It's not a like one stamp motion and you're done with the pigment. It's gonna take it a minute. All right, with my finger, I'm going in with the golden shade just on my lid area, and I'm gonna kind of blend them to them two, those two shades together on my eyelid. So pretty. No additional product. I'm just gonna stamp the outer corner just to make sure that I've got that red pigment there. And I'm also going to just kind of 
lightly blend all of my outer corners. I don't want anything to be too harsh tonight. On the lower lash line, I'm going in with the deeper brown slash purpley tone on the outer corner. It's okay if it's messy, I'm gonna blend it all out at the end. So outer corner only. And on the inner corner, this caramel brown shade. Okay, and then I just go in with a, it's more of like triangular in shape, but I just close my eyes and run it along my bottom lash line to get that blend. As you can see, I have quite a bit of fallout. I'm just gonna take my wipe. This is a palette you really need to do your eye makeup before your face makeup so that you don't have to do any of this. <laughs> I will say though that in my experience, cause I did have to remove my eye makeup because I had stopped recording at some point, this red shade stains. Yes, it does. I would give this palette like a solid nine out of 10 for it being so incredibly cheap, incredibly cheap. $5 at Dollar General, poof. You do get a little bit of fallout and you have to work for the pigmentation, but if you're on a budget and you're looking for a really cute little red eye moment, this is for you. I had no issue with the blending. And I think the shimmers are really pretty for $5. I think this eye turned out perfect for tonight. I am so excited. For lips, we are using Watermelon Plump from L'Oreal. It's in the Color Riche Plump and Shine line. I love these so much. The plumping is not intense. It just really feels like peppermint, but it goes on so glossy, so balmy. I would love to try the other shades in this. Beautiful. Okay, so here is the look that I came up with using my stick picks for today. What do you think? I definitely think if you're looking for a cheap red option, the Believe Beauty Sultry Sunset Palette, it's a good one. And the Watermelon Plump, I love it so much. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks that I own. That is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.